Joining us now is Joanna Stern, senior personal technology columnist uh, at the Wall Street Journal, as well as a CNBC contributor. You think, you think it's a two-part thing, Joanna? We get the, uh, the the new phone, and then the yeah. watch, which has been enough in recent uh, years to, to to keep the stock going and and to keep excitement going. What? what Let's start with the phone. Is it going to be? I like the name thirteen. I like thirteen. I think it's a it's a good number. I think it's will it be the iPhone. Will it be the iPhone thirteen? I bet you thirteen dollars. It's called a thirteen. What do you think? All right, you got it. On okay. it. All right. Well, first of all, I don't think it's going to make it to your to your wall of fame there, uh, because we're really in the incremental upgrade year, right? There's always the TikTok cycle of the iPhone. And so last year with the 12, we got a big design refresh. We got 5G. It was a big year for the iPhone. This year, looking at incremental upgrades doesn't mean it's going to be boring. It's just going to be smaller upgrades. And again, that doesn't really matter to most people because they're not upgrading every year, right? We're really at a three to four year upgrade cycle for most people who have phones. So they will be getting substantial camera, be uh, camera improvements, better screen, better design, and now 5G too, because those people haven't had 5G. My camera's awful good. Uh, in fact, they, with pictures that selfies, it's too good, Joanna. Or maybe, it, 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 could it be, uh, will it automatically fix some of my flaw? What, how's it gonna be a better camera? Even more resolution or, or better background? What, what's, how's it gonna be better? Yeah, lots of reports about video recording capabilities. So over the last number of years, we've definitely seen a big substantial improvement to taking still photos, right? The improvement of the portrait mode, portrait mode coming to all the, the models of the iPhone. Remember tomorrow, there will also likely be four models because they do this now. They've got the mini, the regular, the pro, and then the pro max. So I expect the pro maxes to have more of these camera features and to them, them to be uh, focused on video recording uh, we're hearing a lot about portrait mode, video recording, sort of a cinematic way of recording video. So those will likely be the bumps. But I'm with you there. I think a lot of people are sort of saying at this point, my camera's good enough. All my photos look kind of amazing coming out of yeah. this small thing in my pocket. Yeah, they need, uh, my daughter knows how to Photoshop it. I look so much better on this after she fixes things. But uh, it should do that automatically. I don't know if it can. So the watch, um, bigger screen. How about 10 percent bigger? How, how, what, how, you can't make it much bigger. No, I mean, we don't want to be wearing like televisions on our, our watt on our wrist. But the idea, I think, here is going to be that they can get the rest of the hardware smaller. So that means they could fit in a bigger screen. So maybe it doesn't take too much more space on the wrist. But actually, some of the other components are minimized in a way. Um, there's supposed to be a new redesign to the watch. What I've sort of seen Apple doing over the years now is big upgrade on the iPhone, then next year big upgrade on the watch and sort of going with this TikTok cycle. Last year, not the biggest upgrade on the watch, actually very minimal. It was hard to tell the difference between the six and the five. And so this year, sort of thinking bigger redesign, some new features and setting the pace then there for some health features down the line. I wonder if they got it down in terms of blood pressure and, and the, the health things. Has it Obviously, our, our glucose levels, it, it's going to have to be algorithms based on something that they can measure easily from, from outside, basically outside of your body. So I, I, I don't know. That it will, is it, are they, have they got it down to where they could be within 10% of the actual numbers, do you think? I'd like to do it. I'd like to lower my blood pressure, lower my heart rate with biofeedback, things like that. They've definitely made strong improvements over the years in the health features. The journal has actually been reporting over the last couple of weeks that they have a lot more in store around that glucose monitoring, around temperature monitoring. But the thought is, is that this year might not see those upgrades and that would be the next uh, series next year. We really, we got to go, but the Epic, uh, good or bad? Some people say they're, they're not a monopoly, so it was a good decision, but the stock was down. What do you think? Apple's saying, I got an email from Apple over the weekend, their, their chief legal counsel saying, you know, this is a win for Apple. Okay. Uh, I was pretty, you know, some strong language saying, you know, we repeat, this is, we are not a monopoly. So they are definitely right. hanging their hat on that.